What is up, everybody? Scape211 here, and we're back. It is the new year. I hope you all had a good holiday. I had a nice break and uh, want to wish you in to the new year. And we're going to start it off with a giveaway. We got the January giveaway, number one. We're starting off with one of these, and uh, it's going to be similar to the last couple we did because I thought that went so well. So we're going to have 10 winners who will each win 500 A coins each. And uh, here are the rules for doing that. Same as always, step one will be to subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And then step two will be to comment below with the keyword Rudolph, still feeling kind of festive here and you'll see in a minute, um, your in-game ID and your in-game name. I need all three of these. Make sure you get the right ID so we get the eight coins to the right people. We will have an example in the description for you to follow if you need it. And then, of course, when we do our live stream this weekend on Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's right, we're getting back into live streams too, uh, we'll do that. And we ask that you have your entries in by Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so that we have a 24-hour window to pick the winners. All right, so like I said, we are feeling festive. So I'm going to jump into this one here. And uh, I got my my MD. I got the holiday skin. I actually was lucky to get all, and I have this build on them. We're gonna do a Yeti build um, <clears throat> to, to to play with the Stasis Beam Eight. So my uh, my uh, MD is not fully maxed, but I've had a lot of people ask me about the Stasis Beam Eight. As you can see, though, mine is only three star. Pretty darn weak, but it's one that uh, I thought would be fun to try this kind of support build. Play some reindeer games. Have a little fun. Um, with our with our Rudolph here, I was fortunate enough to get each of the holiday skins, the epic. I'm sorry, the legendary ones. I didn't get all the other ones, so I didn't want to put any money into that. Don't really care about the spins. I just got some lucky, lucky spins for the skins, I should say. I said I didn't really care about the spins. Uh, both. I don't really care about either for that. Uh, I wish we got uh, some good spins for the other stuff though. That was pretty sad, but yeah. Oh no 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 no. Uh. All right, so with this build, I, I feel like I just got to kind of... I mean, I'm playing with AI and against AI. Just, you know, it's what, what it gave me for this match here that we're playing. Um, I got to uh, stay behind my tanks and try to, like, heal them. Let them take the brunt of the damage. Man, but look at that. You saw that with the Stasis 8. It takes so long to kill anything because I'm, I'm fighting the high-level bots with only a three-star weapon. Let's keep Jacaranda alive here while we also do some damage. Come on, give me a kill. All right, good, good. We got that. A double kill, nice. Not bad. I mean, I honestly don't expect to get a whole lot of kills with this. I figure this is more of just your um, assist kind of build. If you want to get Hammer's Anvil or whatever, this is the kind of build you would use. Um, this is, like I said, I mean, you, you probably use something else. Uh, this is not super ideal, but I have it at 14 energy. I wanted to play with it and Stasis Beam 8 to see how well a light mech can do for support. It's kind of MD's role. Dang it, he took away my tank. Um, so that's why I'm trying this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, it just takes forever. I bet if I had my Stasis Beam up a little bit more and I had Yeti up. Oof, gosh. If I had Yeti up, it would, wouldn't be too bad. So, I don't know, man. It's It's a rough one for sure. Come on now. Oh, got that. All right, wingman. Wingman, I'll take that. Got three guys up here. Three beefy guys. I'm going to have to pull back because I'm not going to have... I can't let them get over me. As you can see, all my guys are behind me on this side. That's why I'm going back over here. And even as enemies filter out, most of them are on this side. So I can keep this cover and peek out and take shots when I need to. Okay, good. He ran out of ammo. That's good. Just because I'm, I'm always worried about that now, man. With the with the sniper pilot and those uh, cheetahs with the one long arm 10, they can do some pretty good damage. Start healing here. Oh, suck me. Okay, there we go. So we get this guy. Man, I, I see that took a lot longer than I would think it would have for getting that kill. We got seven though. That's not bad for this. See if we can hit that godlike. That would be sweet. I don't think I'm, I could easily with this build. Oh, man. Him putting up the shield. Look at how slow that is. Oh, we got it, though. Somebody else helped us out. Thanks. One of my AI buddies. Missed that one. We'll take the assist, though. Gotta get two more. Oh, that's gonna be hard to get. Yeah, I'm not even gonna be able to easily kill a shadow. <laughs> it's pretty sad. Pretty sad. I, I do think, though, if I had this, like, at five to six star, where the stasis can be, you know, 
pretty substantial. Uh, and then I had Yeti up to like four star with some decent implants. This wouldn't be awful. I mean, it's not exactly great. I do think like um, a Guardian or a Panther or something like that with dual stasis beam 16 uh, at the end game is probably better if you want to do support but still be quite fearsome. This is just, this is kind of a late game trolley build. I feel like <laughs> this, is, this is not really something I'd realistically think people are gonna run. Even on their MD, I feel like if they had a late game. Oh, almost got that one. Oh, oh man, if I would have had that. Oh, that's game though. Oh, those last two. If I would have had those, that would have been a, would it, would it? I think I had eight, right? Yeah, eight. That would have been the godlike. Dang it, so close to getting a godlike with this build. That would have been a lot of fun. That's all right though. It was, it was a good time to play around with. Like I said, it's kind of a trolley build. I wouldn't really expect people to do that well with this end game. You're probably better off doing like javelins or something else that's just going to be better for him. Even disc launcher eights. Something that's going to let him, you know, do a little bit more damage. Um, but this is, you know, the, going into full support mode if you wanted to try it. But anyway, guys, yeah, that was just, just a fun one for play. Um, if you had your stasis beam up, it might be better. Mine's at stock in, in the sense of its uh, stasis effect. With my Thermal Lance at 5, that's as high it's going to go. You can tell that it went a lot faster. My Yeti also is pretty darn low. Um, and uh, I have some okay uh, implants on him. Not anything great, though. But that was just for fun. Like I said, wanted to throw it in there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, otherwise, guys, we just have our usual giveaway like we typically do. So um, definitely check out the details for that. And we will see you out there on the battlefield.